Welcome to our new product introduction from Teben. My name is Mona Mutschla and I'm happy to introduce you our new presence detector series Luxa 103 today. Luxa 103 is our new definition of standard. Today we are talking about 230 volt switching detectors. Here is one first impression of the recess or flush mounting device. We are having a new device with only 8 centimeters in diameter. I don't want to lose much time and start with the introduction of the single members of the product series. As you can see here, our first product is the um, combined device between recess and flush installation. So we have a device that is delivered in recess installation method, including the springs and the protection cap. And you can remove the springs and the protection cap and use the attached um, mounting bracket for installation in a, in a box. This device is available in two different versions, so meaning the first version having only one relay for switching light only, and the second version having a, an additional relay for switching HVAC applications. The both devices have 12 meters detection area and an included push button input. For the surface version, we decided to go for a new design, so meaning we have a completely um, own design for the surface device with an extremely flat surface box. So the technical features with respect to software, detection area, push button input are identical to the recess or flush version, but we have really focused on keeping a really flat um, design. The surface device is also available in two different versions with one channel for light only and with an additional channel for switching an HVAC application. In order to make sure that we can cover a full building not only by having round detection areas of 12 meters, we also developed a device for the corridors. Our corridor sensor is also available in the combined version for flush or recess application with the same mechanics to remove springs and protection cap and use the uh, mounting bracket for installation in a box. And we do have the surface device for the corridor version as well. Both corridor versions have a push button input but are only available with one relay for switching light. Having a closer look on the detection area, as you can see in the upper row, um, the detection area of the 12 meters presence detector. 12 meters detection is for walking across the, the sensor. Uh, walking towards direction is six meters in diameter, and the presence area is five meters in diameter. For the corridor detector, we have 28 by 5 meters detection area for walking across the sensor and very important in corridors the walking towards the sensor area is 14 meters, 7 meters on each side of the detector. What is also quite important all these detectors are optimized for mounting height of 3 meters so just keep in mind 3 meters is the perfect range for Luxa 103 family. As we know that um, interior design is very important and we are having more and more um, buildings and concepts with darker ceilings, um, we also implemented the surface devices with an additional accessory in grey and in black. So here you can see how it looks like to use the surface device with a grey or black surface box and also the shiny deco ring in the uh, desired color. Coming to the installation, it's quite important to know that our Luxa 103 family um, does have some potentiometers for doing the easy application um, in place. So selecting delay time or um, switching light points is possible with the VRs, but if you want to have the full um, capacity of features of our new series. Um, we recommend to use the Tisenda B remote control and the Tisenda plug app. 
So if you are having Tessenda S or Tessenda P already in your portfolio, it's no problem. You can use the um, other Tessenda remote controls as well, but they are not able to give you the full um, feature um, amount as Tessenda B. Having an overview about the introduced different models, as already mentioned, the flat version does have 12 meters detection area and the corridor sensor is 28 by 5 meters. And what was also really important to us during the development is that we are able to have a good switching capacity with respect to future lighting, which is LED. So that's the reason why we focused on having a 400 watt LED switching capacity. What is also important for us, um, the devices um, for recess or flush installation do have um, plug-in terminals and the surface devices um, have screw terminals. All pro um, products have IP54 rating and a huge temperature range. So if it comes to the applications, um, we of course, for pers presence detectors, open space offices are always a good application, especially for comfort and saving energy. If it comes to Luxa 103, you can see here, um, you can do a parallel switching with the devices and also include push buttons. Um, in this example, you can use the first row for um, having one group of Luxa 103 detectors, which is close to the window, and then you can do a second row upper um, closer to the wall with a second group of Luxa 103 detectors. But Luxa 103 is not only connectable to each other out of the same series of product. We can also combine wall detectors and ceiling detectors with our Temura. So Luxa 103 is able to be uh, connected to a Temura slave, which might help you for applications in residential buildings where it's um, necessary to cover different regions in floors and staircases um, in houses. Of course, Luxa 103 is all, um, also very suitable for having um, the devices in single offices. It's quite easy to control with the presence area of five meters, uh, very easy, clearly the light and if necessary also an HVAC application. HVAC application is also important for um, humid rooms such like a changing room with a shower as you can see here. In this case, you can use two different detectors. You can do a parallel switching so that you can make sure um, no matter in which corner of the changing room someone is, the light stays always on. And with the additional relay for HVAC application, you can make sure that humidity is transferred out of the room. For the corridor sensor, I think the application is quite easy. Um, you can use it for corridors. Um, just make sure that whenever someone is um, entering through a door, that it, this is within the um, walking towards detection area to make sure that the light is really switched on if someone comes. If it comes to the toilet application, it's always helpful to have the HVAC relay as well. You can use it for a fan, for example, and um, parallel switching is also helpful if the room is bigger than um, you can only cover with one device. As already mentioned, Luxa 103 is having IP54 rating. So this gives us a lot of new options to our products. IP54 rating and the temperature range from minus 25 to plus 55 degrees gives us the opportunity to install the device in outdoor application as well. So you can use Luxa 103 for covering areas in park desks. You can use it for ceiling installation in um, private homes or in residential buildings or of course in some industrial buildings where it's necessary to have a ceiling installed detector that is really nice looking. 
So if it comes to the C, um, surface installation, I think it's worth to have an eye on um, how we realize that. As you can see, we have molded in the ceiling into the um, wall plate or ceiling plate, um, which enables you to have really good installation times because the ceiling stays in place if you puncture it and um, also throughout the installation process. If it comes to wiring, I think it's important to know that if you have a surface device, you have to make sure that the um, red marked areas on the right and the left hand side of the um, clamps stay free from cables because if you close the device, um, it's always um, the spot where the relays go in, so there shouldn't be any cable. With respect to the um, surf, uh, flush recess device, um, we do have um, the clamps in a 45 um, degree angle, and um, we do have some additional features which is shown here. Um, if you have installed the mounting bracket, this one, which comes with the device, um, and you install the device by uh, pressing and turning, then you can remove the device by pressing and turning backwards as well. But the device is only removed from the box at this position. Um, this gives you the possibility to, to access the VRs to change some settings. But if you want to release it completely, for example, because you want to change the detector, then you have to press with the screwdriver to, some sp to a spot here and release the device. Like that. That's important to know. And then you can remove it easily. If it comes to LED, I think it's quite important to know that um, switching capacity of 400 watt for LED is really promising for us. And um, what is also important to know, um, the product standard for this product would mean that we have to survive 20,000 cycles um, with 400 watt LED for this device. But this is not sufficient for Theben understanding of quality. So we have an internal Theben standard um, which requires the doubled amount of switching cycles compared to the product standard. This means our Luxa 103 family can do 40,000 switching cycles with 400 watt LED. So this is important for you because it gives you a important reliability of the product. As already mentioned, we have included the push button input into our Luxa 103 family. For us, this is important, not only because we can use it for manual override of the detector's performance, so meaning manual switching on or off the, the light, but we can also realize with the push button input some special functionalities such as a semi-automatic um, mode, meaning the detector has to be activated by a press of the push button once and is doing the uh, re-triggering and the delay time automatically. Another application which is, which is only possible with a push button input is the staircase light function. So with the staircase light function you can avoid that people can switch off the light. This is especially important in staircases. Imagine someone is um, on the top floor, um, entering its apartment, switching on off the light, and um, two floors below, there's still someone um, on it, his way, and then this person is standing in the dark. So you can avoid that with our staircase light function. Other Theben uh, typical features are also installed in Luxa 103 family. This is, uh, for example, the impulse function which gives you the option to um, address it to our ELPA um, devices or to, um, uh, to control a KNX binary input. The teach-in function gives you the option to um, give the detector the current ambient brightness as a um, expected 
brightness level. And the test function gives you the option to do a walking test, um, no matter what kind of ambient brightness currently is. And you can uh, check the detection. And if it's necessary, then you can um, use the lens mass to um, reduce the detection area to avoid false triggering. So this was basically all for the introduction of our new LUXA 103 presence detector series. LUXA 103 is going to be our new definition of standard devices in uh, motion and presence detectors. And I hope uh, you will have a lot of fun out in the market with our new product series. Thank you very much.